Hey guys, welcome back to the Poor Investor. I am so strapped for cash, it's not even funny. They do call me the Poor Investor for a reason. Now, I had a hoarder in one of my properties. I'll show some pictures of all the wreckage, the, the demolished the place, and it cost me about three grand to hire a dumpster, get my property manager, to clear out all the junk. And I do not know what happened to this individual that signed their name on a lease for a good year and they just ghosted gone vacated left all this garbage and as you can see i don't even know what the hell is what i don't know how anyone even lives in a situation like that or place themselves in that like i i, I just don't get it and time and time over you see these places certain people do this to whatever wherever they're staying and it just baffles the mind. But anyway, a lot of money for unnecessary things. But unfortunately, it had to be done and there you go, right? $3,000 that I could have spent on buying more Bitcoin. <laughs> but unfortunately, that didn't work out that way. So now I'm getting an estimate. So here's my dilemma, right? Um, I'm getting an estimate of, I'm just gonna round it up, $8,000 to renovate this place to get it rent ready. And then I could rent it out for a thousand dollars. Actually, a little over a thousand. It was like a thousand dollars and fifty, a thousand fifty bucks, a thousand dollars and fifty dollars, um, one thousand fifty dollars. I couldn't even say that properly. But anyway, one thousand fifty dollars if I renovate it, and so bringing it up to rent ready. Now, the property that I have is out of state. I'm not close to it, so I can't go there and do the work myself. Now, I did purchase this way before the pandemic and I paid, a, no, I'm sorry. The value of today is a hundred something, but what I paid was 49,900. I believe that was, yeah. All right, $49,900. I did buy it outright. I did a, you know, a refinance. I took the money and I, and I purchased this second property that I got a while ago. Right now, I'm debating to fix it up and sell it or just leave it and sell it the way it is and um, just reap whatever I can. Now, from base on what the value is right now, so if, if it was a pristine and nice condition, it'll probably sell for a hundred and forty-ish thousand dollars. So let's just round it off and say a hundred forty thousand dollars. Now, because it's in this current state, if I don't renovate it, and, and I'm not really there to oversee a lot of the things, I just have to rely on other people, I can get rid of it for probably a little under $90,000. And I'll probably say between eighty five dollars to $89,000. And you know that's, that's the cost that I would lose in order to get this outright now. If I chose that, either way I choose. Now, whether I renovate it, then sell it, or you know, leave it the way it is and then sell it, which is a lot easier because then I don't have to deal with the headaches of the renovation or the construction, or kind of, I, I wouldn't be able to see the quality of the work. I, I could only base it off of pictures. And even though I have someone there, I can only go by their words. It, it's not something that I can really, you know, as 100% trust. I would probably say it's a half and half, right? They, they just want to do a job. They don't really care. Uh, of course, I would nitpick at certain things if, if I was there to see it. Like, you know, why is there a gap here? How come the paint looks shoddy or whatever it is? There's only one coat, not two. You know, things like that. So if I get rid of it as is, of course, I lose some of the value, but I don't have to deal with much headache. Now, the other thing is I am doing a 1031 exchange. So I'm pretty much set on selling this property or doing a 1031 exchange, taking the proceeds from that, and then putting it into another property in a state that's closer to home, which I've been doing more often, okay? So because now I can actually go to these properties that are a little closer to home, driving distance, opposed to flying all the way to the mid states to uh, you know, visit these property, which I've only done maybe like twice out of all this, you know, last five years or six years. So I haven't done it much. And of course, the last previous four years, you know, it was during the pandemic, so I couldn't fly anyway. 
So there's really not much I can do. So right now, that's my dilemma. Like, fix it, sell it, get more money, but deal with the headaches, or just leave it the way it is and sell it for less money and not having to deal with any headaches. Put it into 1031, get my money, buy a new place, deal with the new place because it's closer to home. So yeah, uh, as the poor investor, that is exactly some of the investments that I'm doing right now. And I just want to come here and tell you guys that this channel is definitely going to be about me and my finances going forward. It has always been, if you ever watch any of the previous videos, like way back when I first started this channel, it was all about stocks, which I do still have, uh, investing in crypto, which I still do right now, uh, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, uh, Turbo Toad. I've done videos on that as well. And I would definitely update you guys on my real estate stuff because it's just a part of me right now. That's exactly what I've been doing. So, um, and hopefully you guys can stick around. Keep, keep, keep me in mind when, when you think that, you know, a lot of people say that, oh, you're poor because you're called a poor investor. Well, yeah, I'm cash poor for real. But my equity and my, the money that I have invested in certain things can definitely buy a lot more. But unfortunately, I don't have that extra cash to go spend on things of luxury or, you know, things that are not necessary. I like to invest and I like to dump all my money into these investments, real estate, stock market. Some portion of it does go to crypto, uh, self-improvement. I, I invest a lot in education, books, certifications, and things like that because of my profession, which is in cybersecurity. So that's it. I just wanted to update you guys and hopefully this video was enjoyable. So please hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.